This week, we're gonna talk about what's been going on with the channel as a whole, the tanks that are currently running, some tanks that need to get running, and everything else in between. Let's get into it. What's going on, Reefers? Welcome back to a well-needed update video. My name's Blaine. This is the King Tide Corals channel. Now, first, before we get into anything, I wanna thank you all for helping me reach a goal. We reached 1,500 subscribers. It's insane. I can't believe, you know, we started this channel together about a little over a year ago, and I didn't have any subs, and now here we sit, over 1,500, proud, a part of this King Tide family. It's really cool. I can't believe it. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for all the continued support. I know I haven't gotten a video out lately. Recently started a new job at a hatchery, working with Chinook Salmon, and just settling in with the house, the new job, and all that jazz. There's been a lot going on, and I've also been working on the side, editing some videos for a pretty big aquarium company, so I've been pretty busy. But I wanted to give you all a well-needed update on the channel as a whole, all the tanks, and some really fun upcoming projects. So let's go ahead and stop talking, get right into it, and check out all the tanks that are currently running in the office. The office is starting to look pretty good. The lagoon is coming into its own. The UNS 5S is starting to fill in. The macro tank is definitely becoming quite exciting. The mangroves are growing every single day. And there's several new projects within the office that we need to talk about. But we'll go ahead and start out with the UNS 5S. Let's start out with talking about the UNS 5S. Now this tank has been really fun to have on my desk space because whenever I'm working on my computer, I'm able to look right over here and have a tank next to me. It's nice and I've always really liked the sound of water, um, so it's good and this, you know, this filter is really quiet, doesn't make a lot of noise. I wouldn't say it's the most aesthetically pleasing, but it definitely gets the job done and it moves water in this tank as I need it. So it works out. As for everything that's living in the tank, the mangroves are doing super good. I was a little worried at first. Their stalks got a little squishy and that's a kind of a sign of them having maybe a little bit too much salt in their system or just not doing well in general. But they've kind of hardened up and they're starting to do really well. As for the macroalgae, the Calerpa prolifera has pretty much taken off in this tank, but I like that and I think it's a cool look think having it all kind of spread out and all the leaves popping up all over the place is kind of a pretty cool little look for this tank. There's also some Codium that I added into the system, some Gracilaria Haya, and then um, that's pretty much it as for macroalgae. Now, as for the livestock, the Lima Shrimp do, are doing really good, but they stay hidden underneath this rock all day long, and I never see them, and I'm only able to feed them at night, and they don't really like the daytime, and it's just kind of how it is. I've thought about adding a scallop into this tank and trying that out. We'll see, I may do that here in a future video, but as for right now, I think I'm gonna add something to this tank to add a little bit more life, and I think I'm gonna add an Eviota goby. I think it's gonna be a perfect size goby to add to this tank. I'm only gonna add a single one, and I think it'll be perfect, and I also think it'll add some more nutrients for the macro and the mangroves, and I think it'll just be better in general. But I think it'll be good to have maybe an extra little fun partner here on the desk with me and kind of liven up this tank. But as for right now, the UNS 5S is doing really good and definitely starting to mature and grow in pretty well. I'll keep this update pretty short and sweet for you guys because I'll let you guys know you guys can check out my last video on the lobster lair. I'll put a picture of the uh, thumbnail here on the screen, but Basically, I talked all about this tank and what's been going on. So you guys should definitely check out that video. It was the last video on my channel. And you guys should see all the cool little shots that I did of this tank and talked about this tank. But I was able to grab a new feather duster. I talked about that in the last video about adding some more feather dusters to the corner here, creating like a worm garden. But this tank's doing really good. Um, I'm definitely gonna keep this as a minimum update for this one because I did a really big video, last video, to talk about this tank. But everything seems really happy and the lobster is doing well. But everything is good for the UNS 5N in the lobster lair. One of my favorite projects to date has been this mangrove bowl. It's obviously one of the most simple projects I've ever done, but easily it's given me some of the most joy. 
Um, I really enjoy plants in general, as you can see in my office space. I have a bunch of plants and I really like plants and so it's kind of the best of both worlds. Water with the shrimp and everything and then also the plants with the mangroves. But the mangroves are doing really good. Um, they keep growing. There's this one that's getting really tall. I'll probably end up trimming this one as well. But I have just recently trimmed this one and you can tell that there's a little bit of new growth starting and hopefully it'll branch sideways and kind of start some more lateral growth. But overall, the mangrove bowl is doing really good and this has been probably one of the more fun and easy projects on the channel. Now here is a tank that has yet to get set up and I think it's gonna be super fun. This is another UNS tank. This is the UNS 25C, but this is a beautiful cube tank. It's basically nine point eight inches I think or 9.3 inches cube all the way around and I think it's going to be a really fun tank. Um, I think it's going to add some cool contrast to everything that's going on here and also I think I may be joining the freshwater scrubs with this tank. It's going to be fun to see what I end up doing with this tank. I had ideas of dwarf seahorses but with me traveling every once in a while and leaving on a weekend it's really hard to kind of focus in and do seahorses if you're going to be missing days because they need feeding all the time. But this tank's really cool and I think I'm going to do something really fun with it. And I've also really, really been itching to have a beta in the office. So maybe this becomes a beta tank, but only time will tell. But this is one of the new projects that's currently up and coming and to definitely stay tuned for on the channel. So be sure you're liking subscribing and doing all the things to definitely not miss out on this future build. Something that I've kind of kept hidden in the background is this tank. Now this is going to be a super fun build. I will say that this is all basically funded through BRS, um, through the BRS Reef Pack program. So shout out to Bulk Reef Supply for helping me out and making this happen. But I've always loved Innovative Marine. I obviously have the Lagoon and so I decided to go with the Innovative Marine 10 cube and we're going to be putting it here in the corner. Now the reason for that is we need a home for this poor clown that lives in this bucket here. Um, I think this is going to be perfect though and I think the Nuvo 10 is going to be a really fun new tank to start up and this is definitely going to be a series you guys are going to want to be tuning in for because I'm going to be starting it from scratch and then we're gonna be setting up a pretty fun tank and I'm thinking maybe going with a NEM dominated tank. So it's gonna be really fun. So definitely stay tuned for another cool project here on the channel. Now the last thing to talk about currently in the office is the Lagoon. The Lagoon's doing pretty good. I'm happy with what's going on right now in the tank and it seems to be kind of coming together. I will say though, I will be transparent with you guys and say that bubble algae is showing up pretty crazy. And also this turf algae is starting to show up as well on my rock work. You can see it here. Uh, that's basically some turf algae that I had before on this rock. And I think it just kind of hung out and stayed there and didn't kind of leave and came back once again after I reset this tank up. But I've hired in some emerald crabs that ended up doing the job the last time and hoping that they can hone in, clean up that problem and also help out with the bubble algae. I've been doing a lot of manual removal as well, but do whatever I can to try and fix things. All the corals though are seeming to do pretty good. Moved a couple of the OGs over here to get them a little less light. I think I may turn down the light a little bit. I think I'm juicing up the softies just a little bit too much, but the lagoon is doing really good and the fish are pretty happy. The single clown is right here. The clean fish is always hanging out here on the side. Quite the funny little one. And the blue stripe pipe fish pair is actually right down here hanging out scooting around, doing their thing, looking for food. They're a really fun pair to watch in this tank and probably my favorite addition to the lagoon thus far. But everything's really good in the lagoon, seems happy, and it's good to give you guys an update of what's shaken in the King Tide Lagoon. The last project I wanted to share with you guys and show off 
is this new beast. So I just picked up this 50 gallon Zoomed low boy and currently we are going through the leak test. I don't wanna give up too much information about this build, but I'm really excited. It's a big tank. We're gonna have a lot more room to do a lot more things with and who knows, maybe we just start hoarding all kinds of corals, but this is gonna be really fun to share with you guys and once again, I keep saying it, but this is gonna be a super fun build, so definitely be sure you're subscribed so you guys don't miss out on all of these videos. I'm gonna be building this stand, plumbing this thing, setting it up, cycling it, all the things, and so you're definitely not gonna to wanna to miss out on this one. Well, now that you've seen all the tanks that are running and all the products that are about to start running, that's it for this week's episode. I'm happy I was able to update everyone with what's going on with the channel, but I've been extremely busy and I haven't been able to get to filming, so it was good to be able to sit down, focus on talking about all the projects and everything going on with the King Tide family and get back with you guys and start making videos again. I really enjoyed this, but until next week, reefers, happy reefing.